Okay, good. I hate that's to admit the way it, that's but everyone chair. smells yeah, smoke. A fire is heading this way. Batman has made plenty of enemies, but my family. We've done nothing but support Gotham, even in its darkest days. All this on the anniversary of your parents? It's not a coincidence. Harvey's the district attorney. He should have told me this was coming. Then find out why he didn't. I'm gonna dress up. I hit his ass. Oh. Uh, oh. A warrant? What the hell's going on? Wait, does this have to do with what the reporters were talking about this morning? Yeah, someone's coming after me. Let's avoid making another scene, shall we? The press is already up my ass as it is. Mayor Hill authorized this? Yeah, then the cops raid my house, taking everything related to Wayne Enterprises. Computers, hard drives, files. Oh, son of a bitch. You're the goddamn DA, Harvey. I didn't know about this, I swear. Hill totally sure blindsided that? me on this one. God damn it. <sighs> okay, I, I believe you, Harvey. Mayor Hill's trying to screw us both over with this move. And then he's made two enemies. I just don't get it. Why would Hill stick his neck out over this? Just to tangle you up in some frivolous investigation? That just doesn't make sense. I mean, what could he possibly hope to accomplish other than a few cheap headlines? That is exactly what I intend to find out. Easy, Bruce. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna kill a motherfucker tonight. Oh, God, what a mess. Bruce, I wish I could just make this go away, but I'm not sure if I can. If I get in the way of this investigation, Hill would be able to spin it as a conflict of interest. And that wouldn't be good for either of us. It would jeopardize the entire campaign. You should probably distance yourself from me. What? No, no, I can't do that. Well, you may have to. Don't say that. You... There you are. Hey, you. Sorry. I got a habit of being help? late. No, no, just glad you made it. Oh, shit. <laughs> you didn't tell me you were bringing a friend to dinner. This is Selena. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Just election nonsense. Harvey never mentioned you before. Oh, really? That's interesting. What was your name again? Uh, it's Selena. Selena Kyle. It's a strong grip you've got there. Don't worry. I'm not going to fall. <laughs> oh, right. sorry. Selena's new to town. I've been showing her around Gotham, introducing her to people. You're an excellent tour guide, Harv. Well, if I lose the election, I guess I can drive one of those double-decker tour buses around town. So, Miss Kyle, what brings you to Gotham? Business. Well, let's just hope she stays after what happened last night. I was mugged. Uh, I'm just angry I let that masked freak get away with all my stuff. I still can't believe I let you walk home alone. I should have called you a car. Well, I sure hope whatever he took wasn't too valuable. Actually, it was. It's probably long gone by now. Whatever that idiot took. I hope not. These were important materials. Ooh. Sensitive? Very. I don't know how I'm gonna explain this to my client. When things like this happen in my line of work, people tend to overreact. We should just be thankful you got away with a black eye. I'm sure your clients will understand. I doubt it. In my business, people aren't very forgiving. At least I'm not the only one who's taken a beating. That press conference? Oof. We've got it under control. Do you? I'll handle it. Someone at my office has to know what's going on. Uh, excuse me a moment. Hey, it's Harvey. Hey, bitch. I know it's you. Like that black eye? <laughs> Ha ha ha. 
Nice to meet the real you. Likewise. This explains a lot, actually. How you can afford the fancy armor, the toys. Wouldn't Harvey be surprised? <laughs> Not to mention, everyone in this cafe. You going to play nice this time? Well, that depends on you. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll kick I'm not going to expose right you. That. Yet. I'm curious about something, though. I do what I do for money, but you're... Bruce Wayne. What's your excuse? I have to. But you... Why take the risk? Someone has to be the good guy. I suppose you think that makes me a bad girl? Well, aren't you? <laughs> you I just have like something that belongs asses. to me. I want it back. This is awkward for me. I'm used to robbing people, not the one being robbed. It must be important. What's on the drive? I don't know. You don't know what you've stolen. It's not my business to know. My clients don't know who I am, and I don't know who they are. Or what they're moving. But you know who I am. These people I'm working for, they don't screw around. If I fail to deliver that drive, it's going to cost a lot more than money. Well, looks like you've made your bed. No, we've made this bed. And I'm not going to lie in it alone. You owe me. If they don't get what they want, there will be consequences. I don't like consequences. All right, you want my help? You got it. What can I do? You can give me back the drive. Nope. <laughs> Not possible. Listen, I don't have a lot of time. My employer is expecting me to drop it off. Where? Just give it back. The address, now. No, give me the drive. You're just going to have to trust me. I don't do trust. <laughs> I guess I'm screwed either way. Yep, I got the job. My contact. He'll be expecting a cat, not a bat. When are you supposed to meet him? Fifteen minutes ago. Better hurry. Everything okay here? You tell me. I have my people working on it. We're gonna straighten everything out. I feel better already. Sorry, but I've got to run. So soon? Aren't you going to stay for a drink? Yeah, Bruce. Stay for a drink? <laughs> I'd love to, but I've got another appointment and I really don't want to be late for it. Oh, all right then. Don't forget to change into your suit. <laughs> Bitch. Don't screw it up, eh? I mean, now she can just break into my house pretty well. Alfred, I'm at the warehouse. No sign of Catwoman's contact. It's quiet. The sound of an ambush. Stay on guard. This wasn't a handoff. It was a massacre. How many? I'd have to count the pieces. Oh, good lord. Who could have done such a thing? That's what I'm gonna find out. Gordon, Eastside Docks, Warehouse 133. Scratch marks, scorch marks, huh? Scratch marks, scorch marks. Analyzing. It's a volatile chemical. Potential psychoactive nerve agent. Vile stuff. Be very, very careful with that. 
knows what effect it may have. Have the computer catalog the compound for further analysis. As you wish. Nothing left to bury. I mean, you can bury some guts. Link, uh... I don't fucking know what to link it with. There, Link. Whatever exploded did so with enough force to obliterate the person standing next to it. But the chemicals themselves were inert, not explosive. Well, it appears to have made a pretty big boom. I'll see what I can piece back together. Of the body? I, I don't think you can piece back up that body. I've seen these outfits before. Same mercs that broke into City Hall. The canister exploded, sending shrapnel right through the container door. For once, I'm glad you arrived after the heist. Your armor wouldn't have protected you against that. Bitch, please. It can. God damn it. I don't want a QCE to open a door. Looks like a bullet started this. A normal bullet couldn't have caused that explosion. Doesn't appear normal. The point of entry's melting. Wait, I just went in there to do that. Motherfucker. Fine, Link. Link this with a dead body, why not? I don't fucking know. Oh, look. Pallets. Hmm. Canisters were stored here. Canisters of what? Canisters of it went boom boom. Okay, link that with this. The scrap of metal is from the exploded canister. But I need to know what caused the explosion. White Rose. Yes, it's a White Rose. Falcone's calling card. He's been busy as of late. Send the drones hunting. I want to know his every move. Good thinking, sir. Okay, so Falcone blew up some shit. It's a dead Merc. No. That bad? Oh shit, his eyeball's gone. Face slashed, throat torn open. So, not natural causes then. There's more to look at? The pocket. Skylight Club. Burnt cop. Uh. This man's been badly burned. The damage seems to originate from inside his skull. What did this? Me, hey, motherfucker. I don't fucking know. You're gonna jam that in his in a dead guy's head, okay. Sensors say it's an incendiary round. Phosphorus residue. This could have superheated the contents of the canister. Causing the aforementioned boom. Okay, anything else with your body that I need to know? Blood. Broken nails. Bits of human flesh. Okay, so I can link that. Yeah. 
never seen a bullet do that. Frank that link and what? Did that happen? The cop shredded this merc to pieces, barehanded. God, what would cause someone to do that? The nerve agent could make them psychotic. Well, that's a very interesting thing. Okay, let's go to the Boom Boom site. Over here? No? No, Boom Doom Doom, go this way. I got more shit to look at. Son of a bitch. I thought there was like one other thing over here. Don't think so. No proof. Son of a fucking bitch. Find a connection. The bullet that killed the cop is the same type that blew up the canister. Well, I'm sure they didn't find that at a local gun store. It appears military. Okay, can, can I just stop already, please? Please! <laughs> Fuck. Yes, we get it. Break the link. Okay, so that's an unbroken link. Thank you. Okay, ground zero is a blast zone. What the f can I link this to? This is the annoying part, huh? I can't break that link. I can't break this link either. How many fucking links are in this fucking game? Ah, oh, there we go. Shot cop. It's a cop. The force grows thinner every day. Wow, can't even link the bitch. Something was here when the explosion occurred. Please tell me this is the last one. Someone drove off after the explosion. Have you put it together? Yes. Falcone leaving his rose here. This is a message. Dead cops, stolen chemicals. He's making a big move. One of his snipers hit a canister with an incendiary bullet, causing it to superheat and explode. This may have been a distraction or a way of destroying evidence. Enough. Cops moved in to stop the theft. Falcone's men gunned them down. Then things turned grim. Possibly due to the psychoactive nerve agent. A cop ripped up a merc's face with his bare hands. And was put down. Same sniper, same type of bullet. Looks like Falcone's men got what they wanted and escaped. Have you located the shooter? No, but based on two impact trajectories, the canister and the dead cop, the shooter could only have a clear shot from there, there, or there. 
and would have contaminated himself with the phosphorus residue. Program the skimmers to pick up that signature. Right away, sir. Nerd. Both targets could have been shot from here, but no phosphorus trace. No, fuck it, go to the back. Fuck, it's right here. Not a bad angle. Far this way. No trace of phosphorus, though. Motherfucker. Well, one damn place left. For a spike. Clear vantage point. We have a winner. He's still not gonna be around, I really hope not. This is the right spot. So where did he go? Forward. Trace stops here. Then he should be nearby. Found him. Time to go to work. Oh, son of a bitch. Pause. People need to stop calling me today.